Eurovision. Yeah. Eurovision. Yeah, it was when we came in to say hi. Here we are. Yeah. Now we're gonna win. Bye. Yeah. yeah <laughs> exactly. Yeah, is the is the bye presentation bye. moment. Hey y'all. Hey, this, this is Morgan Skin. I'm Ethan and I'm the drummer. I'm Thomas and I'm the guitar player. I'm Damiano, I'm the vocalist. I'm Victor and I'm the bass player. Today with GQ we're gonna tell you all about our style history. Yeah, yeah it, it, it was, was incredible. our first gig in the US at uh, the Bowery Ballroom. One of the wildest gigs we yeah. ever played, to really? be honest. And it was so nice because there were no barriers exactly. from the audience to us because yeah. it was a very small venue. We really felt the energy from, from the people and we could stage dive many times. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's crazy to go like in all the different cities and see if there's so many people there for you that know all of your songs and um, it's great. <laughs> we always try to coordinate our outfits and uh, that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just we have fun with it, exactly. like we experiment and have fun, makes it all up. I really love the face of Ethan. <laughs> yeah, that picture is quite good. <laughs> the picture yeah, is incredible. Yeah. It was the, the Jimmy Fallon uh, sure. late night show, our first TV show here in the US. And we were dressed amazing. Gucci. 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 Yeah, we were wearing Gucci. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. Oh, mamma mia. Yeah. Fun, but also tiring. Because we shot yeah. video only video. during the night. So we just, like, we didn't sleep for three days. And every time that we were done with the shooting, we were all covered in blood. So when we, we got back home, it was a bit weird, like, to meet people on the streets uh, covered in blood. <laughs> but it was very fun. For my outfit, the, the, the reference was, uh, was Mean Girls. I wanted to look like a, a paparazzi shoot pop star, like uh, Lindsay Lohan with the iconic t shirts and uh, Britney and uh, I wanted to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a cute money skin. We're missing one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't there because. Yeah, where are you? Doing your four hours of train to get to yeah. Big Song. We were like playing as buskers in Follow 2015. Us on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. <Follow us> on Facebook. <laughs> nice line. Marketing. It was in Rome and it feels like ages ago. <laughs> yeah. Thomas was yeah. already doing his dance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Iconic dance. Yeah, yeah. We were playing, I can definitely say, La Dernière Dance by Indila. Yeah, I remember. Indila, yeah. Ooh. This is the final of uh, the San Remo Festival. When we won, yes. Oh, <laughs> we won, actually. As it was amazing. See, yeah, it as was you can see from, from the beautiful golden tree with a lion standing. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? You? Uh, no, no, Thomas. no, I steal a, a Victoria there. Every time we get a trophy, we have to fight to <laughs> yeah, who gets to, just, just one, to hold it. Four. So now, we're sharing it, it now. Who has now, it now? Thomas. Now, now we have this, Thomas stole this it. Trophy, yeah. He came at my place while I wasn't there and took it. <laughs> yeah, we, were, we looked like uh, fingers gave it. Fingers gave it. Ah, okay. Yeah, that night was magic. Ah, that night was magic. Eurovision! Yeah. Yeah. Eurovision when I was like uh, seven feet tall. Yeah, <laughs> cheating. Cheating with my high heels. And we won the Eurovision. Uh, it was also when we won. won. <laughs> was it when and we, we won? won? No, my, my, my ears uh, are still done. So we hadn't won yet. In that yeah, it moment. was when we came in to say hi, here we are. Yeah. Now we're gonna win. Bye. Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Is the, is the bye, presentation bye. moment. It was very tight. Yeah, yeah very but it tight. was comfy. Yours, maybe. Mine wasn't. <laughs> Bowie was the reference, but that's the okay child. too. <laughs> yeah. This is just me uh, dressed like a sexy nurse. <laughs> no, no, the nurse. Uh, a calf. Cool. A calf, yeah. Madonna inspo. <laughs> the what? Ah, uh, the. Fetish. Yeah, it was yeah, <laughs> normal uh, Jack Sparrow stuff. And uh, I don't know how the fuck am I dressed, but, <laughs> but it, it felt cool. I just want to wear it. This is Mean a Girls really, inspo again. Yeah, <laughs> a really iconic dust that we, we were, we're, we're in Sweden, sorry, in Sweden in the, uh, on the background, at uh, the back of Lata Palisberg Festival. Yeah, it was like an amusement park. Um, yeah. So it was uh, basically the merchandise of the place. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's cool and scary at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like Happy Tree Friends. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> My tits, boobs. Tits, 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 tits everywhere. Tits, tits everywhere. everywhere. Boobs everywhere. Super cool. I think like it's very important for everyone to like feel free to be themselves, like, but with your body, but also with your 
like gender and sexuality and just with who you are in general and like nowadays I think there's like so much discrimination and the society tries to put so many limits on you and trying to tell you like who you should be or how you should dress and also like on the women's body there's always like much sexu sexualizing and I think like it's a very like bad thing of course and everyone should be free just to be themselves and look how they feel comfortable so that's why I'm forced to cover my nipples. <laughs> <laughs> the most important thing also to um, be free to discover who you are is to um, be surrounded by people who are open and free and won't judge you. But of course a lot of people just, I don't know, like mistook me as a feminine, like, I don't know, like thing just because of my hair, which is a wrong thing of course. So for me, they are also, a, I don't know, a concept of freedom. All natural. Iconic cat on here. Do you watch it every day? Do you watch it like every No, no, every day, like, it, it wouldn't be a little bad. And well, I think, like, every two or three years. Uh, years? So, <laughs> 30. <laughs> days. Days, so sorry. Not, not years. 30. <laughs> Iconic person, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a uh, royal family inspo. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's true, you are seen at uh, like the smart part of the group, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the, royal, the royal part of the, the group. Royal part. Yeah. And very uncomfortable. Exactly. So. <laughs> Thomas For me, it was, a, it was like, oh my god. <laughs> 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 my leg was like, oh, shaking. And the photographer, which like is one of our biggest friends, he was like, hold it big, please hold it. And I was like, ah, I can't anymore. It was, it was very really fun because cool. when I remember when we were wearing those outfits and Damiano had like black lipstick and massive like smoky eyes. And then we were like playing a soft ballad in Italian and it was very Super fun. Super weird. It was like <laughs> Marilyn Manson singing romantic music. It was very fun. Yeah, but it was cool, the, the opposite, you know. Yeah, yeah it was very cool. Contrast, exactly. My favorite one is the one in the video because uh, mm. I really feel like a early 2000s pop star. For mm. me, the performance in States in New York because it's really, you know, elegant during the performance of the... Elegant? Yeah, I was half naked, so I'm not that yeah. elegant. Yeah. Because it looks like Jimmy Page. Yeah, exactly. And also and, uh, a romantic wave, you know. I love the one from the Eurovision. This one was yeah, very yeah, also. cool. And for me, the Jimmy Fallon one, because I wear like plug with the belt, which is an harness altogether. And I love harness, so that's why. <laughs> Thanks for watching our style history on GQ. Woo! Woohoo!